guys what's up welcome to Aaron's Arcade today I'm going to review one of my favorite video games on the Super Nintendo and that is Joe and Mac now this game was originally called Caveman Ninja in the arcades but I personally believe that Joe and Mac on the Super Nintendo is a lot better than the arcade version I don't know if I'm just partial to it because I'm a Super Nintendo fan and and this is the first version I played but uh, the arcade version doesn't seem as fun there's no there's no overhead map on the arcade version and it's just the sense of adventure is not as much there as it is with the super nintendo version now this game can be played in two player co-op mode and there's also a second mode that you can play with this game that is co-op two player but you can hurt each other you can club each other over the head with your clubs or whatever. Um, this is kind of like a Bonk's Adventure mixed with Super Mario Brothers. It's a platformer game. Um, the graphics are excellent. The gameplay is fun and this has a very high replay value for me. So um, as Joe and Mac on the Super Nintendo we're going to be playing here in a minute. But I also wanted to uh, show you guys my Super Nintendo hoodie that I have here. Um, these are available um, if you join up with our Super Nintendo group at www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash SNES group. And that's my dog's tail. <laughs> um, but if you join up the, with that group, I can give you the information on how to order. It's www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash SNES groups or no SNES group not groups or you can just search for Super Nintendo and I'm sure my group will come up in Facebook but feel free to join oh I'll post a link in the video description below so you can check there as well I'll just click on it how's that that's easy enough for you <laughs> well <laughs> anyway back to this caveman ninja AKA Joe and Mac, pick it up for your collection. It's worth the money and it's an awesome game. Let me show you what it's all about. All right, Joe and Mac on the Super Nintendo. This was, again, I'm reiterating what I just said in the intro video, but uh, this was called Caveman Ninja in the arcades, but if you're looking to buy it for the Super Nintendo, just look it up by Joe and Mac. I failed to mention that earlier. It's just Joe and Mac on the Super Nintendo. Um, you won't find it under Caveman Ninja. Although I've heard there's actually an NES version of this game too. And I think there might be a Sega Genesis version. I don't remember, but for some reason it's in the back of my head that there is a Caveman Ninja on Sega Genesis. But I'm telling you, this by far is the best version of the game. Um, see, the two-player super game right here, that is actually, um, that's the one, that's the co-op mode where you can beat each other up and hurt each other. And here's the backstory. Back in the distant past, way back, like when rock was rock and roll was just roll or whatever. <laughs> this, this story is really stupid. But, uh, I'll let you watch it here. It's kind of goofy. cave dudes. They tried to be cool by saying dudes, you know. Dude, man. This game's cool, dude. You gotta play Joe and Mac, dude. Yeah. Now, how do they need 500 cavemen to go into one TP and steal one woman? And they didn't discover toothpaste yet. Pew. <laughs> All the cave babes are out there somewhere lost and lonely and it's up to Joe and Mac to get them back. Well, where the hell were Joe and Mac in that little TP? Get down! You just knocked my phones and my remotes all over the place, dog. Man, you're crazy. Why are you gonna be all crazy and shit? Alright. So we're gonna go to options here. And I'm gonna switch it to easy mode because I suck at video games. And, uh, that's basically all you can do in there. Um, go to one player game. We're going to play a few, uh, through a few levels here just to show you 
how cool this game really is. Now at the beginning here you'll see that you can't get to this egg up here. Well, they kind of throw you an obstacle at the beginning here. You just hop on top of this guy, jump up there, and there's your egg and you get the boomerang, which is what you're going to want to start out with. Um, the boomerang is pretty heavy duty. It takes them all out in one hit, at least the, those guys have done it. Like I said, this is like Super Mario Brothers mixed with Bonk's Adventure. Of course, you don't bonk people in the head. Um, you don't hit, you don't collect coins or anything, but you collect meat and stuff like that. You collect different weapon power-ups. I mean, there's a lot to do in this game. And the overworld reminds me a lot of Mario 3. Um, the graphics in this game for its time are absolutely incredible. Um, these guys take you to a bonus world. Of course, you have to wait forever for them to do it, but they take you to a bonus world here. I just go up here and collect the meat, get your health up. I don't think that contains anything. You well, yeah, it does. And you're going to want to jump down here and get this key. Because that key gives you special access, kind of like the secrets in Super Mario World. Gives you access to secrets in the game. They're not really secrets, they're just unlockables. They're plain as day, though. Now, normally I'd say go up there and get that fire, but I don't see it. I killed the birds that were supposed to take you up there. But I would try to get that fire if I were you. Those guys take a few hits. Now, see how the graphics are? I think that it's just pure artwork. And I love the artwork in this game. Back when this came out, we, this was one of the first Super Nintendo games I rented on, on the uh, when I got my SNES, and I was just blown away by the graphics. Because back then, you know, big, huge dinosaurs taking up the whole screen was a new concept to us. Um, anything that got big on the screen and was like took up a lot of the screen was a big deal to us back. I mean, this was killer graphics to us. And you just stay over here and watch out for those guys. Oh! <laughs> Like I said, I think this version's a lot better than the arcade. The arcade is is a little more chaotic. Um, it's 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 designed so you can it's designed for you to dump quarters into the machine. This is a little easier, and it's a lot more fun. I I, I think it's a lot more fun. Now, if I wanted to, oh, we're gonna have to go through the second level first. Oh, what am I doing? Now, if you want to go down on that ledge, you press down and press B, and then you go down. But fire is the best weapon in the game. Me like fire. Fire, my fire, good. Napster, bad. <laughs> I, uh, you guys remember that? I think I still have those cartoons on my computer. I should re upload them. I don't think that's anything important. There might be a bonus. Nope. You don't want that. That thing is a shitty weapon. Make sure you kill those rocks before you get dropped on. Ah! Ah, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, it needs to find some. 
some healing meat or whatever that is. Or it would be called a pork chop in Castlevania. Oh, come on! Now here you fight the Audrey too from Little Shop's Horrors. And I swear that's what it is, man. Listen to the voice. It says cover me. And it is, it's the little shop of horrors plant. When he gets hit, he sounds just like it. Ooh. <laughs> Man, I, I should have ducked so he wouldn't get me. And you save little princesses every time you beat a level. Now, if I wanted to, I can use my magic key that I got in that bonus round to go down here. There's other areas in the game where, over there, there's other areas where he, you can get that. Um, but this one actually heals you up. I never really use this bonus round. It'd be nice if it gives you some one-ups, too. But I mean, if it gives you enough meat to heal yourself, I mean, I guess if you're playing two-player, but even two-player, this is excessive. They should give you more power-ups than this. It's all me. It's like, come on, man. What, what's this about? Unless you collect them all or something? Do you get a special bonus? Let's see. No. <laughs> you don't get a special bonus. This is way too much power-ups. Who needs that much heal healing power? It's not like you need four, you, maybe four players, I don't know, but it's, maybe when you're playing co-op, you fight over them, I don't know. That's just excessive to me. They should have gave you some kind of other power-ups. And of course, this, this reminds me of Contra, where you're going up, up that uh, waterfall kind of thing. It's one of those levels where you go up. Oh man, and these bees piss me off. Maybe I shouldn't shoot those things. Would you shoot a beehive? If you were... Would you shoot a beehive with fire? I don't think so. See, the fire really is your friend in this game. You don't want to get... Once you get that weapon, you don't want to get nothing else because... It, by far, is the best weapon. It takes out the bosses like crazy. I don't know if, if you... And I don't think in this game when you die, you won't lose your weapon, so... And I'm about to die. But the good thing about this is it's arcade style. If you die, you uh, start over right where you're at. It's not like you die and you start over at the beginning of the level. No, it's... Once you die, you just hit A and he comes back. He comes back on like a little angel with wings and you press, I can show you in the next level here, but you just press B and they're back together on the screen. So. And then you got these self-scrolling in here, see, this, I just died, so you can guide your ghost to back to where you're going to start again. If I don't die again. Now, if you fall down pits and fall off of stuff, you will die instantly. It's not, it's just like every other platform. You know? um, so, you gotta be careful. You get a certain amount of hit points, which is good. But I like this fire because it takes these guys out with one hit. And it really eats through the bosses. And that's what you want to stay with. And when you die, you don't, obviously, you don't lose your weapon when you die, so that's a good thing. Now I want to show you the boss on this level before I uh, sign off for the night. Um, because the variations of bosses in this game 
are incredible. I love how they did the, the different bosses. It's not the same shit at, at the end of every level. It varies up. It changes. Like, we fought a pterodactyl. We fought a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And what was the second? Oh, yeah, we fought uh, the Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. I mean, that, that kind of stuff's cool to me. Uh, once you get your one-ups, you want to go back. Because the key is up here. Um, but anyway, yeah, the, the bosses, they change up every time. You'll see some repeats later on in the game, but the variety is still awesome. And the fact that the graphics are pushed push the Super Nintendo to the limit. And it's a low, it doesn't, this game doesn't take that much, up that much memory yeah, from what I remember from, uh, for what the ROM size of this game is, which surprises me because the graphics are just amazing. Great arcade graphics. I wish Data East would have re released more cool games like this for the Super Nintendo. They had a lot of potential. If there's any other Data East games out there that you guys like, for the Super Nintendo, comment and let me know, because I'd like to check them out. I might have some of them. I know I have Side Pocket, that's another Data East, um, gay, I said gay Data East, no, it's not gay, <laughs> Side Pocket's a good game, it's a, I meant good Data East game, um, I like pool games. That championship pool on the Super Nintendo, I like that much, but Side Pocket's good, it's Data East. I don't recall of any other Data East games. I need to check up, I need to update my Excel spreadsheet for my collection I'm behind on my inventory. I need to do that. Yes, I take inventory on my video games. And that's what the Video Game Attic website is going to be about. You're going to be able to put in your collection and keep track of your collect your personal video game collection on your online on your personal profile for every system every retro system out there and possibly I'm gonna possibly do it for every new system as well so um, I'd like to build up a huge database of video games on there um, so I'd like to get the gaming community together to help me build this site I need to get, I'm still working on the framework, I know, here I am playing video games, I could be working on it, um, but I got a whole weekend ahead of me, I might, after I do this review and upload it, I might, uh, I might start working on it a little bit, um, but like I said before, this Super Nintendo hoodie, if you want one, join up my, with our Facebook group, uh, www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash SNES group. That is the one and only right now um, Super Nintendo group. Well, no, there's one other group called Strictly Super Nintendo. That's not the group you want. You want just Super Nintendo Entertainment System. That's what the group's called. But I'll put the link in the description below. And you can, uh, when you get on there, you'll see my post about these shirts and, uh, and how to contact me or how to contact my buddy who makes them so that uh, you can grab one for yourself. They're really, really warm. They're thick. They're high quality. They might, you know, you might think they're a little expensive, but they're not. They're, they're the perfect price for this quality of hoodie. Um, this thing keeps me really warm in this cold, cold winter we have up here in Ohio. And I'll tell you why, it keeps me comfortable. I, I just wish I could wear this thing every day. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna buy another one. I'm not I'm not trying I'm seriously not trying to push these on you. I'm just saying I'm being sincere here. These are awesome. These are awesome. So grab one up, they're warm. Keep yourself warm for the winter. I can do t-shirt, we can do t-shirts too, so uh, just hit me up on our Facebook group. Links below. And I hope you enjoyed my Joe and Mac review. Uh, again, pick this game up. You'll love this game. It's a great two-player game. Y you'll, you'll just love playing this game with a friend. And you'll love playing this game by yourself, too. There's some great Game Genie codes on, on for this game that you can beat it. 
I, uh, there's, there's some other cheat codes that allow you to continue and stuff. I didn't really get into that that much. Um, but, uh, yeah, I will see you guys. Thanks for watching Aaron's Arcade, and I will see you next time.